Listen, first of all, this is the Eric Lloyd Show. Yes, sir. I mean, look, listen, you don't get no better than the Eric Lloyd Show on the Now yes, Television sir. Network. And now, I'm, listen, first of all, you're doing an amazing job for the Thank Now you. Network. You are taking us to higher heights. And mm -hmm. so, first of all, I just want to tell you that for the amazing work that you're doing for the Now Network, your integrity, mm -hmm. uh, your number one, your love for Jesus Christ, yes, sir. your integrity, and your willingness just to jump in and be on team and to create avenues where there hasn't been one mm -hmm. from the ground level. So for that, I thank you. This is the Eric Lloyd Show. Thank you for tuning in to the Eric Lloyd Show. I'm your host, Bishop Eric Lloyd, and this is the day the Lord has made. In it, we're going to rejoice and be glad therein. Certainly, I want to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Mark Burns and Lady T uh, for giving me this airtime. I also want to thank the Now Television Network. God is doing something new in this season, and I'm grateful to be a part of what the Lord is doing. Bishop Paul Morton wrote a song and said, Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, please don't do it without me. And I share those same sentiments. For those of you that desire your prayer, I want you to pick up the phone and give us a call right now, toll free at 1-888-967-6777. That's 1-888-967-6777. The Bible says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And I do believe prayer changes things. Well, I have a guest on the show today. He needs no introduction. He's a pioneer in the Christian broadcasting, uh, I want to say ministry or perhaps industry. He's an, an author, a pastor, one of the founding fathers of the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship, my media mentor, my friend and my brother, the bishop. Greg Davis, bless you, sir. Bishop, it's good to be here, man, on the Eric Lloyd Show. Yes, sir. I have learned so much from you, and it's an honor to be interviewing you during my first program. Yeah. You said something the other day that I've been saying ever since, man. I didn't realize it had almost been a decade. Yes, sir. Time, Time flies. Oh, my God. You came in, and I think it's important that people hear this. You came in at the behest of recommendation of uh, Bishop Farmer. Yes, sir. Because he said I wrote a book and didn't give him credit in the book. I said my friend, so I got to say his name. Bishop Farmer recommended you to come be a part because I was looking for, he said, I was looking for hard workers. Mm -hmm. And he said, I got just the person for you. Yes, and sir. And he did not lie. You came in as a part of, and history will write, mm -hmm. that you were one of the founders yes, of Rejoice in the Word. Yes, you sir. You get Rejoice in the Word started on the Word Network and it's bloomed to be what it is today. Yes, sir. And uh, I want to thank you because you were a hard worker. You were dedicated. Even got on my nerves sometimes because <laughs> you were such a hard worker. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you was always ahead of me. That's one thing Bishop Morton said about me, and you remind me of me. You remind me of me. Yes, sir. Um, and that is he would ask me to do something, and before he even got it out of his mouth, it would be done. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have even been there for me on TCT. You've been there for me on Impact with the Greg Davis Show. Yes, sir. One of my bag-up co-hosts. Yes, and sir. And now I'm looking at what the Lord has done. I got a call from Pastor Mark Burns and said, we well, you know about Eric Lloyd. I said, oh, yeah, he's the man. <laughs> I appreciate and so you, I'm sir. I'm so proud of you. And this is what happens Talk when about you that. serve another man's vision. Talk about that. If you want to be a great leader, it's not how many people you have following you. Mm -hmm. It's how many people that you serve. Yes, sir. And you have served so many but I can speak about me. You were faithful, never gave me a problem, always was like, yes, sir, no, sir. And that's where you remind me of me, Bishop Morton. I had two answers for him. Mm -hmm. Yes, not three. Yes, sir. No, sir. And I'll find out. Yes, sir. Because never tell somebody that you're following that you know something and don't know it. Mm -hmm. so be honest with them. Tell exactly. them, sir, I don't know, but just give me a minute and I'll find it out. And so we're sitting now 
in your dream. Yes, and now sir. I'm looking at the young men that are serving you. Mm -hmm. They're here because this is what you did. Yes, That's sir. why when you have a chance to serve somebody else, serve them in faithfulness mm -hmm. because you're going to get back what you put out. Like now, I'm a member of Triumph Church. I tell mm -hmm. everybody. And um, Pastor Kenlock, and Good he's my preacher. pastor. Mm -hmm. He's my pastor. He's, he's younger four, than you. He's 42. Mm -hmm. I'm 53. But I don't have... I haven't, I haven't taken in 30,000 members <laughs> in 17 years. Yes, sir. I may affect 30,000 people at one time as I sit down on TV, but that's my pastor. Yes, sir. And I treat him as my pastor. It's like, yes, sir, no, sir. What can I get for you? No, I, sometimes I sit in church, I'd be like, let me get that for you. Let me do that for you. But, you know, mm -hmm. I, you know but I, uh, I, am, I am a follower. Yes, sir. And, and I honor what God is doing in you. Today. Well, you know, you're, you are what I call an effective leader because effective leaders raise up other leaders. Yeah. I believe every Elisha needs an Elijah. Yeah. Every Timothy needs a Paul. Every mm -hmm. Joshua needs a Moses. Mm -hmm. We need somebody that can show us the way. And you have been a Moses to so many people. Yeah. And I just want to appreciate you. And I took joy in serving you. And a lot of people thought I was making thousands of dollars mm. in the beginning. No. I wasn't making a dime. Not a dime. Come on, somebody. And we got to talk about are, that. Sometimes we still don't make a dime. Come on. If exactly. You're willing, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, a book that I love, I read, if you're willing to work for free mm -hmm. in what you love doing, then when you get a paycheck for it, you'd be like, I can get paid for this? Exactly. Stop working a job for a paycheck. Work what you love to do. And then if they pay you for it, you'd be like, I get paid to do what I love. Get paid to do what I, I love. I just said something in case you only hear me. Yes, sir. That's a message. Find your passion. Mm -hmm. Start working a job. Find what you love to do. In the beginning, it may not pay much. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, it may not, it may, you may not get nothing. But look at today. Exactly. The Eric Lloyd Show. This is the residuals. This is the benefits of serving another man's vision. And those that are coming on with you, they may not get paid now and all that, but man, if Larry Robinson, he's one of my mentors at God's yes, World. God's yeah. World. Like he's my business mentor. He's mm -hmm. one of my business mentors and able to put together things, um, productions and, mm -hmm. and and promotions and all that. He said to me when I was much younger, he said, Young man, if you keep on turning over rocks, eventually something will be up under them. Mm -hmm. And I just keep on turning over stuff and and, and, mm -hmm. and it, it happens. And I wanna say I, I, I love the analogy of Moses, but here's the other thing. If Oprah can make a Dr. Phil. Come on now. If Oprah can make a, a, a whatever Dr. name is. Oz, Dr. Oz. Dr. Oz and Gail and, mm -hmm. and the one that fixed my life, uh, then I can, I can help push Eric Lloyd. Yes, sir. You know what I'm yes, saying? Sir. It's so many people that are on television now and doing what they're doing. And Prophet McKinstry said this to me yesterday. He said, I think for your 30th anniversary, next year I celebrate 30 years of preaching. Mm -hmm. We should do a live TV show of all of the people that you have to had come on your show through the 10 years. Yes, sir. And let them come in and we interview them. And you just sit back and let them pay homage. And mm -hmm. I thought that was such a great idea. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't even know the date, but include me. You, oh, you got it. You're going to be <laughs> yes, one of the hosts. Yes, sir. You're going to be one of the Include hosts. me. I will rearrange my schedule to be there. But, you know, you said something about Oprah because we reproduce after our own kind. And teamwork, I always say, make the dream work. Mm -hmm. We are better together. together. We complement each other. We should be able to work together regardless of what network we're on. Yeah. Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. So our primary focus need to be lifting up Jesus Christ and winning souls. Because if no souls are being won, then nothing is being done. There is, that's good. There is TBN. Yes, sir. There is Daystar. There is TCT. There is Word Network. There is mm -hmm. Impact Network. There is now the Now Network. There's the God Network. There is the Jimmy Swagger Network. There is uh, the Catholic Network. That's true. There's the Inspirational Network. Mm -hmm. and, there, and then there is local networks like in Atlanta, uh, Atlanta Live. We're all, I, I've been on every last one of them networks, except mm -hmm. for the Catholic. Hey, y'all, mm -hmm. <laughs> give me a shout out, Catholic Network. Yes, sir. They got, they got a lot of money. Yes, sir. Uh, um, you'd go, wouldn't you? It, yes, sir. It's, it's interviewing yes, the fathers. Sir. You know, I found out there are some Pentecostal Catholics. Yeah. I was preaching in Ohio, yeah. and one of the priests came, and he said, Bishop, I'm a Pentecostal Catholic. 
Everybody, he said in the last days, don't we come, come on now. I now. will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And yeah, your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Yes, yeah. sir. But um, I've been on all of, and here's the thing. There's one thing that we have in common, and it's not the dollar, like NBC, CBS, and ABC, mm -hmm. and that is Jesus Christ. That's true. We preach Jesus every network. So there should not be any schisms among any of the networks. That's true. I host on TCT. Mm -hmm. My show is on the Now Network. Yes, sir. Uh, I have my own show on Impact mm -hmm. and working on some other things. Exactly. We're all in this all thing of together. Us. Yes, if sir. Ryan Seacrest, now that's my... <laughs> Not Steve Harvey. Not Steve Harvey. Ryan Seacrest, mm -hmm. who who American uh, Idol, and he has his own uh, radio show. He comes on in, I don't know if you know this, Ryan Seacrest comes on in Los Angeles, California. Mm -hmm. But he also comes on on the major station in New York City. Wow. Two of the number one markets in the country, in the world. If he can do that, that's what I'm watching. Yes, sir. Because the children of darkness are wiser than the children of you light. You preaching, Doc. Yes, sir. And you know why they are? Because they stay up all night long mm -hmm. trying to figure out how they can make the next Jordans for you to buy for your exactly. children. And they learn how to protect, per perfect their craft. Exactly. We have to perfect our craft. I have studied you. I listen to you. You know, when I first started the Eric Lloyd show, I was taping and I didn't want to mention my name. Mm -hmm. And what did you say? I said, man, every time you open up that mic, you're watching the Eric Lloyd show. Yes, sir. Right here on the Now Network. You have to because here's what you don't understand. Let me give you all a lesson. They want to do TV. When somebody, every every minute, somebody new is tuning in. Mm -hmm. So they're sitting there saying, what is this I'm watching? This is a new program. What am I watching? Who is this? Who's this people? I don't know them. So every now and then you say, by the way, if you just tuned in, you're watching the Eric Lloyd Show. My guest right now is Bishop Greg Davis. By the way, I'm Greg Davis, and I'm on the Eric Lloyd Show. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. He's a professional. <laughs> now, you brought two books with you today. I did. And we're going to talk about them in our next segment. All right. Um, but first of all, my wife and I, we've been married for 20 years. Actually, in Congrats. five months, it would be 21 years. Congrats. Big shout out to uh, my lovely wife. Woo, we call woo. her our first lady, elect lady, and only lady. She likes me, so I... I, I oh, I, yeah, lady, she, she needs to... She loves Bishop she Greg on, Davis. She gets on you when you don't do me right. I, I love you, first lady. She you loves lady. Bishop Greg Davis. <laughs> but you got a book on relationship. I do. And I don't know anything about some of the stuff that's in this book. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I cannot say like you that I, I was married 20 years to a wonderful person. We're good friends, Pastor Kim Davis. Um, but I wrote down in 140 characters uh, tweets and put them in a book. It's like 790-something of them in one book, and it's called When the Right One Comes. Wow, that's powerful. This is Bishop Eric Lloyd. You're watching the Eric Lloyd Show. My special guest today, the anointed Bishop Greg Davis. Stay tuned. This is the Eric Lloyd Show. Hey, y'all, what's going on? You're tuned in to the Eric Lloyd Show with your boy, DJ Kid Easy. And I'm your main man, Brother Dre, man. How let me. What's going on? This is a segment of the show where we talk about the Christian hip-hop community and what's going on. So uh, my main man, Brother Dre, over here, he got an album that's about to drop. I'm about to let him tell y'all about it. Well, look, this is the album right here, Kid Easy. Okay. Um, it's called The Collision. It's with my dude, Edify. And both of us is just going ham on tracks. And we uh we tag team together to be a bigger threat against the enemy. That cross is all on my backside. It's sweaty G in that trap light, but I be a P and get black eyed before I win a, a war. You glorify what I rap like, I'd rather see you go down. In Jesus' name and be baptized, cause it's God first and this guy's work. You might see me doing these I said his name and my life changed. Was hurt and searched and filled with rage. Then he came and he took the pain, and nothing ever really looked the same. Hated life and I wasn't right. Made up lies to remain disguised. Didn't recognize that I lived the pride and that sometimes I. Let's talk a little bit about your social media, man. Um, let's get let's get all that information out there, man, so people can follow you. You know, keep up with you and your music. You know, yeah. your tour dates and everything. Oh, of course, they gotta keep up with it. Um, Facebook is I got four Facebook pages. It's Brother Dre, that's my artist page, and then you can also find me under Andre David. You can find me under Andre Mooney, and then you can find me under Brother Dre. And so then Twitter. 
Twitter, I'm under Brother Dre Official. It's hard to keep up with all these names. <laughs> yeah. And then on Instagram, I'm on Brother Dre 777. And so just get with me. Uh, look me up on YouTube as well. Okay. Well, listen, you know, this is your boy DJ Kid Easy. You can find me on all the social media with DJ Kid Easy. And this is your main man, Brother Dre. Yes, and sir. We happy, man, to just talk about the Christian community in this segment. But until next time, we out. Peace. This is the Eric Lloyd Show. Thank you for tuning back in to the Eric Lloyd Show. As you can see, my co-host is in the building. Bless you, Makaya. Bless you. Wow. You just popped up out of nowhere. Just out of nowhere. I would not miss this opportunity to be with you and, of course, Bishop Greg Davis. I'm so excited to be in his presence. He has been uh, one of my mentors, media mentors that jump-started our media ministry years ago. So yes. I would have been remiss not to be here with Bishop Davis yeah, on today. Said that. Bishop. Great date. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't call my name like that. She, she has, has lighting up the set. Yes, Lit sir. Set. Yes, sir. Um, well, we actually talked about some of that during the first segment. Yes. How it's a blessing to serve somebody of Bishop Davis' capacity um, because, you know, we're walking right now in the fulfillment of prophecy. Oh, absolutely. And we're sitting on the set of the Eric Lloyd Show. Yes. But we thank God for our guests. Once again, he needs no introduction. He's a media powerhouse. Yes, a media mogul. A media mogul and powerhouse. Yes. Thank you. During his introduction, I said he was an author, a preacher, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But Did you, you reminded a me. He's a singer. <laughs> I, have a, I have some healing CDs that I'm decreeing and declaring with music in it. And then I did, we did do a music CD yes, in sir. Delaware. Uh, church medley that they played all over the country, but yeah, I get, I get some little checks. So. And, and you know, I <laughs> still low all the time to get checks. I mean, you're really doing something. <laughs> I still hear your songs on AM 1340. That's what I heard. Yeah. Still Reverend Mother still pushing you. Wow! Shouts out to Reverend Mother. Um, if you start, if you say that on TV, I'm gonna take a lunch for it or something. Yes, sir. Yeah, <laughs> Reverend she's Mother, down. she's still pushing you. Good. But we um, concluded the first segment talking about your book relationships. As I stated, Lady Lloyd and I have been married now 20 years, going on 21 years, and thank God the co-host showed up at the right time. Yes. Talk about relationships. Um, Bishop Davis, I would love to hear your advice to single young ladies out there uh, that are anticipating meeting their Boaz. They they say they're just waiting for their husband to find them. How should they poise and position themselves for such? One is a great question, and we, we cover all that on, on, the, on our radio show, and it's even in the book. But one of the things that um, you don't want to be, and here's a term that I get in trouble for all the time, you don't want to be thirsty. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. You don't want to be thirsty. You want to, while waiting for the right one, become the right one. So you have to become what you desire, mm -hmm. and you draw what you are. Mm -hmm. I just said so. Yes, sir. Wow. You preaching, Doc. You, you draw what you are, and so you, you wonder why you keep drawing no good people. There's something in your character that you are drawing, and, you, and here's the other word. You can't settle, and... You're smiling. At waiting for the <laughs> waiting for the right one takes a little longer. Yes. You can settle for the wrong ones all day long. They're a dime a dozen. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the right one, God is not only working on him. We want to say, he's getting my boy ass ready. No, he's getting you ready too. Absolutely. Because mm -hmm. there's some things in, in, in our lives that God knows what's coming up the road that we have to get ready for. So, number one, prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for the right one by becoming the right one. Number two, don't get desperate along the way and settle. And number three, when the right one comes, you will know it. You'll drop everything. You'll stop talking. You, you'll be like, are we exclusive? You know. You don't have to ask. You look at and be like, this is the one. Mm -hmm. This is the one that put the sugar in my coffee. Mm -hmm. This is the one that make my, my, my co black coffee turn colors. Yes, sir. You just know it. That's good. When they come. 20 well, years. How did, yes. how did you know it? 
See, I'm interviewing you. Yeah. I'm not turning around on and you. Yes, Bishop's sir. been married like all of his Forever. adult For, life. So Forever. he can't relate to situations such as you and I have, Bishop Davis, because. No, but when I was a teenager, you know, I tried dating. A mm -hmm. teenager? When I was a teenager. I <laughs> tried dating. You dated, man? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, let me because, you, you know, Lady Lord and I, we got married at about 17, 18 years old. And yes, you're still together. And we're yes. still together. Isn't you know, you that ought to amazing? talk about that more. Yes, sir. Because you have you have went against the odds. Yes, yes sir. Absolutely. You have you, you've went against t statistics. Do you know mm -hmm. fifty percent of those that get married in the church end up mm -hmm. in divorce? Mm -hmm. The divorce rate is higher in the church. Mm -hmm. And we got married in the church. Wow. Twenty one years later and five months. Yeah. We're still you're together. An example. By the grace yeah. of God. You come the months? Yes, sir. <laughs> 20 years and five oh, months. 21 years. 21 yes. years. And five months. Wow. March the 25th. Wow. 21 years of marriage. I'm like, Bishop Mom, whoa, you know the months. <laughs> Some of us just trying to remember the day that we got married. Yes, sir. Which time? Uh, see, I, I, <laughs> I have to remember Davis, the months. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Something interesting you said. You said it's important to, to wait for the right one and interestingly enough in the church being born and raised in the church you know we go through this thing uh because our whether our parents our grandparents uh, those that are in leadership really push and prime us to get married um once you start dating they automatically believe that that's the person that you should marry. If he's saved and you're saved, that means you should get married. And what I had to come to the realization is that salvation is not necessarily synonymous to compatibility. So uh -huh. what do you say about that? I say that it was a lot of foolishness because yes. a lot of those people that they put together were not happy. Absolutely. Uh -huh. They were not happy. They cheated. They, uh -huh. they tiptoed and all that. And, and I say it's a lot of foolishness and you should not walk into that just because somebody's saved don't make them a good person. That's right. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of That's there's right. a lot of people that are unsaved that are better people than people that are saved. Mm -hmm. I, wow. I'm getting in That's trouble. Yes. No, they are. Yes. Um, right. There are a lot of people that are just good people. Mm -hmm. They're law abiding. They work hard. They treat mm -hmm. people right. They just have not come into the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Does that make them any less of a person? No, they just have not become into the knowledge of Jesus Christ and we want them to become a whole person by being saved. But I know a lot of women that have been beaten on by saved Same. men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of women currently that are cheated on by saved men mm -hmm. and some wear collars. Mm -hmm. We just heard about it in right. Detroit, about yeah. yes. a brick and a gun. Yes, yes. sir. <laughs> yes. Now that's going to prompt people to ask the question, mm -hmm. are you saying it's okay for a saved person to marry a sinner? Eh, I'm not going to tote that line today. But because mm -hmm. we were taught that unequally we just, did this, we, just, yeah. we actually we just talked about this on my radio show mm -hmm. a whole hour and a half and um we can't a young lady called in let me answer it like this mm -hmm. she's married to a muslim mm -hmm. she's been married to a muslim for almost 10 years he doesn't beat her mm -hmm. he doesn't talk to her uh bad mm -hmm. he respects her um He's even slowed down and going to the mosque. Mm -hmm. He doesn't make her wear the traditional garb that they wear. She said he's been the best man that she's ever had in her life. Mm -hmm. A Muslim. She, go, she goes to church. He don't try to stop her going to, ch go to church. He start asking other questions. We forget about one scripture. It is the wife that sanctifies the man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If the woman don't beat the man and say, you're a Muslim, you need to go to church, get yes. saved. Mm -hmm. You win them by our love, mm -hmm. by love by not browbeating them to go to church, and then eventually they want to find out about your God. Mm -hmm. So that's how I'm going to answer that. Mm -hmm. In her case, mm -hmm. she picked a good one. He's a good man. I predicted to her, now I didn't say prophesy, mm -hmm. that he'll end up getting saved. Mm -hmm. She'll mm -hmm. sanctify him just by her being sweet to him. I said, do you ever go ask me to go to church? She said, no. She said, I don't talk about it, but he don't stop me from going. Mm -hmm. And so she can win him. Mm -hmm. So I think that I think that my, my answer would be just what I just said. So it sounds like, in essence, you're saying it's more effective to let our lights shine. That, that at the end of the day, beating someone up is not the way to get them to go. Yes. That's true. I lost weight mm -hmm. on my own. Nobody beat me up. My, my Pastor Kim used to tell me, you need to lose some weight. You need to lose some weight. Mm -hmm. People used to, Bishop Love used to take my food and spit on it and throw it away. <laughs> you don't need no fried food. But until I made up in my own mind, mm -hmm. 
that's that was the key to make up in my own mind. So I think that in everything, until you make up in your own mind or whatever it is, then it ain't gonna work. Yeah, nah, we don't want any saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled women going out in the world no. and getting somebody. <laughs> even though even though there's Let only me put one that man disclaimer out there. Even though there's only one man to every hundred women that go to church, don't do that. Thing. Hey, don't do that. Exactly. That is not what the bishop is saying. That's not what Eric Lloyd's show is saying. Exactly. We want to clarify that. Don't speak for me. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm just saying. Yes, sir. No. However. Actually, however. Right. Yes, sir. No, try to find a man in church. It, mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you. We don't want to talk about this kind of stuff. But it's hard on women to find a good man. Mm -hmm. I went to an event at a church the other week, and it was like, one man to every five women there, mm -hmm. or maybe 10 in some cases. And I'm like, why can't we? And it was a singles ministry. Mm. Mm. Why can't you get? And there was a lot of men in this church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They just won't come. Wow, that's crazy. Now, we got like two minutes left. No. Time flies when you have fun. Oh, my god. We goodness. got two minutes left. We were just getting into the meetup. 12 <laughs> minutes. Two minutes Jesus. left in this segment. Actually, in the entire show. Bishop, take about. 30 seconds, speak to the people through this camera. Which Whatever one? the Lord, this I'm, camera I'm right here. Amateur. Which one? Oh, this one? <laughs> this one. Oh, this one, okay. No, Whatever sir, the Lord has laid on your heart. You're looking at two people, uh, Micaiah and, and, and Bishop Lloyd, who have served, and now they don't, they, they don't have next. They have now. Yes, sir. Mm. Now network. They have now. We always say, I got next. No, they have now. This is their season because they have sowed in tears. Now they're about to reap in joy. Mm. If you're watching this telecast now and you're serving somebody, you're like, God, when is my time coming? It's coming. Keep on serving without complaining. Serving mm. means that I do it when it's uncomfortable. I do it when I don't feel like I give my money. I give and I give it my time, but I keep on giving it. And God, what he does, he blesses our going and coming. These are examples. This is their payday. Wow, Amen. that's I powerful. Receive that. We got about 30 seconds left. What's on your heart, Micaiah? Bishop, I'm so full right now from those final remarks coming from Bishop Gregory M. Davis. Thank you so much for speaking into my life, for speaking into both of our lives as you've done throughout the years, Bishop Davis. And I would just like to encourage other single young ladies like me to wait on the Lord, be of good cheer, be patient, and just hear from God. That just didn't kind of go right, uh, K.E. That just didn't come oh, out. It, went, it didn't come good. out fluently. It was good. Really? It went good. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, we're live. Hey, we're okay. live. You're still watching the Eric Lloyd Show. Remember, no weapon that's formed against you will be able to prosper. Every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you will condemn, for this is your inheritance as the servant of the Lord, and your righteousness is of God. We thank God for our guest, the Honorable Bishop Gregory M. Davis. Thank God for my co-host. You're watching the Eric Lloyd Show. Until next time, shalom. This is the Eric Lloyd Show.